So you've chosen to create a new job posting using the FITSI assessment. You want to make the best decision about who to hire. I'm going to show you how to easily post a job and shortlist your candidates. First, fill in your job details. You'll see all the usual fields here. One important field is position. This will determine which psychometric profile to match the applicant's answers against. Their answers to those questions will determine a large part of their FITSI score. Copy and paste your job ad in, upload your logo, and most likely leave the assessment optional. Next, we're moving into the experience section. Here, we're entering information that will create the success profile which candidates are matched against. Eligibility questions are knockout questions. Anyone who selects the incorrect answers will be considered ineligible for the job. These candidates will be in the ineligible section of the job manager. We suggest picking one to three questions. Select a question we have already prepared or just type your own question into the text bar. Select the answer you require and add it to your list. Move on to skills and experience and education. These directly affect how the candidate scores. The skills and experience questions are the minimum level your ideal candidate would have. We recommend choosing between three to eight. You add these questions the same way, but you can also select the minimum number of years and how important this skill is to the job. For education and qualifications, add any requirements you might have and how important they are to the job. The environment section will represent a small portion of a candidate's final FITSI score. Move each slider to match what your working environment is like. When a candidate applies for your job, they will also fill out this screen and their preferences will be compared to your working environment. To help spread the word about your new job, you can use the free boards, and you can also add some premium job boards to increase your chances of getting more great candidates. Add any services you require, like having Fitzy send you weekly batches of shortlisted candidates, or use our fast and easy reference checking to save you time. Then submit the job. We've got some candidates. Let's take a look at how to shortlist using Fitzy. Let's open the Office Manager job. Charts show us when applicants have applied, where our candidates came from, and we have some stats on how many new applicants we have. Let's take a look at someone in more detail. The top part of the profile has basic information, documents, contact information, social media links, we ask each candidate for an impact statement and also show their most recent employment and education. We also mark each candidate on how well they did on the assessment. When we want to see the details, we scroll down. The can do the job section comes from the skills and experience questions we set up. Every candidate who says they are very good or excellent has the opportunity to give an explanation. Any candidate who is lower than the standard set is marked with a red square. Will do the job is the psychometric profile, which is a benchmark against the job position. The gray area is where the successful candidates typically score. The line is where the candidates scored based on the questions they filled out. In Thrive on the Job, the gray area is where we moved our sliders in the environment section to match our company culture. The black or red line is where the candidate moved the slider to to fit their ideal work culture. The overall FITSI score is weighted heavily from the can do the job and will do the job sections and just a little bit from thrive on the job. Before we decide to shortlist, we can get even more information by looking at the interview guide. If we scroll down, we have a candidate summary of Carla's FITSI score, her most recent employer in education, and her impact statement. Next, we have a summary of the can do the job section with some recommendations on how to follow up and learn more. In the will do the job and thrive on the job sections, each scale of the assessment is broken down to talk more about how Carla fits with the job and where she might find challenges. Further questions are suggested to follow up and find out more. Based on all this information, you could decide to check Decline, Maybe, or Shortlist. Click Next and go through the same thing with the next highest scoring candidate. So we've finished shortlisting. Here are a few tips to help you use Fitzy more effectively. When you've selected a candidate, 
you can use the progress tracker to keep all your comments about a candidate in one place. You can choose whether or not to keep your comments private or to share them with a hiring manager or team. You can also share candidates with another member of your team very easily. Just select each candidate you want to share, use the action drop down menu to select share, and enter your coworker's email address. If you want to email a group of candidates, you can select their names and use the action drop down again. Because Rita and Bessie don't have a FITSI score, we know they only submitted a resume. We would like to hear more from them, so we're going to request a full application. We're going to let the people we declined know they haven't been selected from a no reply email address. We can use one of the template emails and customize it. Then we're going to email the candidates we want to come in for an interview. We will use our regular email address so that the candidates can reply. In this template, we'll type in our available interview times. That's all for now. If you want step-by-step -step written instructions or more detailed videos, take a look at the content below. If you have any questions or comments, send us an email at support at We'd love to help you out.